TNCS Earthing System, Definition, Meaning, Diagrams TNCS Earthing System, or TNCS System, is a distribution system in which one live part of a power source is earthed. Exposed conductive parts of an electrical installation are connected to the earthed live part of the power source. In a head part of the electrical installation from the power source by PEN, PEM or PEL conductors, and in other part of the electrical installation by protective earthing conductors, PE. BS 7671 provides the following definition. A system in which neutral and protective functions are combined in a single conductor in part of the system. The meaning of the letters T, N, C, S. The letter codes used for designations of the types of system earthing have the following meanings. The first letter determines presence or absence of earthing of live parts of the power source. T, one live part of the power source is earthed. Additional earthing PEN, PEM, PEL conductors and protective earthing conductor, PE, in the electrical distribution network, if any, may be provided. The second letter specifies the earthing of exposed conductive parts of the electrical installation or electrical connection presence between the exposed conductive parts and the earthed live part of the power source. N. The exposed conductive parts have direct connection with the earthed live part of the power source executed by PEN, PEM, PEL conductors or protective earthing conductors, PE. Subsequent after N letters specify how an electrical connection between the earthed live part of the power source and the exposed conductive parts of the electrical installation is performed in the distribution system, and also assign features of the arrangement of conductors which carry out the functions of protective earthing conductor, PE, and the neutral, N, mid, M, or earthed line, LE, conductor in the electrical distribution system. CS, the specified connection is provided in a head part of the distribution system from the power source by means of PEN, PEM or PEL conductors and in other parts of the electrical distribution system by means of protective conductors, PE. In the head part of the electrical distribution system the functions of the protective earthing conductor and the neutral, mid or earthed line conductor are provided by means of PEN, PEM or PEL conductor and in other parts of the distribution system are provided by means of separate conductors, the protective conductor and the neutral, mid or earthed line conductor. TNCS Earthing System Explained In the TNCS type of system earthing, see figure, one part of the power supply that is live is earthed, usually the transformer neutral. The exposed conductive parts of the electrical installation of a building have an electrical connection to the earthed part of the power supply which is live. In order to provide this connection, pen conductors are generally used in the LV electrical distribution network, while PE protective conductors are used in the electrical installation of a building. In the TNCS system, as in the TNC system, pen conductors are used in the distribution network, and protective conductors are used in the electrical installation of a building, just as in the TNS system. With the TNCS type of system earthing, the pen conductor is always separated into a protective conductor and a neutral conductor at some point in the electrical installation of a building. This separation can be affected at the origin of the electrical installation of a building, at the input terminal or at the protective bus bar of the switchgear, see figure 1. This should be done in the electrical installations of residential and public buildings, commercial establishments and medical facilities. The PEN conductor can also be separated at the input terminal or at the protective bus bar of another switchgear, which is connected to the main switchgear via a distribution electric circuit that has the pen conductor as part of its conductors. See Figure 2 on screen. Figure 2, TNCS System 3 Phase 4 Wire. The PEN conductor is separated for part of the electrical installation of a building. Diagrams 1 and 2 show. 1. Earthing at the source. 2. The earthing arrangement of the electrical installation of a building. 
3. Exposed conductive parts 4. Protective contact of the socket outlet TS, transformer substation You see, underground cable OL, overhead line In the first case, see diagram 1 Two protective and neutral conductors are used in the whole electrical installation of a building in the second case, see diagram 2, the pen conductor is used at the head part of the electrical installation of a building, while the protective conductor and the neutral conductor are used after the separation point. Exposed conductive parts of class I electrical equipment are connected respectively to protective conductors. Throughout the electrical installation of a building, see figure 1 or they are connected to pen conductors in the head part of the electrical installation of a building and to protective conductors. In the rest of the electrical installation, see figure 2. With the TNCS type of system earthing, it is theoretically possible to separate the pen conductor into a protective conductor and a neutral conductor at any point in the electrical distribution network. However, it is more reliable to separate the pen conductor within the electrical installation of a building, e.g. on the input terminals of the switchgear or on the protective busbar of the switchgear. If the transformer substation is built into the building, it is advisable to make the electrical installation of a building with the TNS type of system earthing, since the power distribution system will not have a distribution line. Advantages of the TNCS Earthing System The TNCS type of system earthing is widespread in the electrical installations of residential buildings, which is due to a number of advantages. 1. To implement the TNCS system, it is possible to use existing low-voltage distribution networks without reconstructing them. 2. The TNCS system can be seen as a logical development of the TNC system. Therefore, the electrical installations of a building corresponding to the TNCS type of system earthing can be regarded as one of the options for modernization of low-voltage electrical installations widespread throughout the territories of different countries of the world. It is relatively easy for designers, electricians and maintenance personnel to understand the logical transformation of the TNC system into the TNCS system and the basic requirements that must be followed when performing protective conductors in electrical installations of buildings with this type of system earthing. 3. With TN types of system earthing, the earth fault current flowing in a faulty electrical circuit from the phase conductor to the exposed conductive part, and the protective conductor may be equal to that of a single phase short circuit. It is therefore possible to use overcurrent protection devices such as circuit breakers and fuses, as part of an electrical protective measure such as an automatic disconnection of supply. However, in some cases, it is not possible to provide the rated tripping time with overcurrent protection devices. In these cases, an RCD must be used to automatically disconnect the power supply. 4. In electrical circuits of electrical installations of buildings corresponding to the TNCS type of system earthing, which are protected by residual current devices RCDs, it is quite easy to detect errors made in the connection of protective and neutral conductors. RCDs will disconnect the circuits they protect for no reason, signaling the following mistakes made during installation of the wiring conductors. Connecting neutral conductors to exposed conductive parts of class I electrical equipment. Connection of protective conductors to terminals of electrical equipment intended for connection of neutral conductors. The electrical connection of protective conductors and neutral conductors. A higher level of electrical safety can be achieved by using the TNCS type of system earthing in the electrical installations in buildings than by using the TNC type of system earthing. A higher level of electrical safety is primarily achieved by using individual protective conductors in electrical installations of buildings through which leakage currents flow under normal conditions. Their values are much lower than the load currents that normally flow through pen conductors. Minor currents have a smaller adverse effect on the electrical contacts in protective conductor circuits. 
A protective conductor is therefore much less likely to lose electrical continuity than a pen conductor. If it is necessary to increase the level of electrical safety, the electrical installation of a building must be of the TNS type of system earthing. This will require the construction of a new low voltage distribution line or the reconstruction of an existing one. Currently, the TNCS system is widely used throughout the world, including in the UK, USA, Canada, and Australia. To implement the TNCS system, existing and new low-voltage distribution networks are used, overhead lines and underground cables of which have three-phase conductors and a pen conductor. On the basis of these networks, it is also possible to realize TNC and TT systems. How to make a TNCS type of system earthing? Make the type of system earthing TNCS for the electrical installation of a single-family detached home is simple enough. Separation of the pen conductor should be made at the input terminals of the main switchgear, see figure on screen. Further, two conductors should be used in the entire electrical installation of a building, a protective conductor and a neutral conductor, which should have no intentional or accidental electrical connection with each other beyond the point of separation of the pen conductor. The electrical installation of a single-family detached home is usually connected to an AC electrical distribution network. In the electrical installations of newly constructed multi-family residential buildings, the TNCS type of system earthing can be realized in only one way providing for the separation of the pen conductor of the distribution line at the origin of the electrical installation of a building, namely at the input terminals of the main switchgear, see figure on screen. In existing electrical installations of multifamily residential buildings, the TNCS type of system earthing could be done differently. For example, the pen conductors of the electrical risers could be separated into protective and neutral conductors in the floor distribution boards, which are installed on the floors of the residential building and connected to the electrical risers, see figure on screen. Diagrams shows, 1, earthing at the source, 2, earthing in the electrical installation of a building, 3, exposed conductive part, TS, transformer substation, UC, underground cable, OL, overhead line. Note, figures show the electrical installations of the apartments as single-phase class I appliances.